Welcome back to 5-Minute Fantasy Football, presented to you by the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. Today, we're going to go through a 2024 mock draft. The best thing you can do to prepare for the 2024 season is to go out and do a mock draft. This is going to be 12-team PPR, one quarterback, and I'm drafting out of the seventh spot. Before we get into the draft, make sure you go to promo, go, go over to Underdog Fantasy, download and use promo code FFSGPN so they know we sent you. So let's look at it. The first three rounds are loaded with receivers. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 receivers going off in the first three rounds. You have to get one, if not two, in the first three rounds. That makes it a little difficult to go with an early quarterback, makes it difficult to go with an early tight end, and it makes it hard even for the running backs. You do see some running backs going in the first three rounds. You got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 running backs and 18 receivers in the first three rounds. A lot, a lot of those guys. I went with Jamar Chase, Brandon Ayuk, and then Rashad White going double tap receiver in the first two rounds. I faded quarterback, faded tight end but I feel like it gave me good depth as my top six picks were Jamar Chase, Brandon Ayuk, Rashad White, Cooper Cup, James Conner, Ramondre Stevenson. Then I went Jordan Love, Ferguson, my onesie positions to go in and really kind of finalize my starting unit. Ferguson was a cutoff point for me. For me, if you want to get a tight end, you you probably want to go with Kelsey or, or Andrews. I really was kind of eyeing Andrews up there. He just didn't fall to me. But Ferguson right here in the eighth round, I think, is a good value. If you're comparing him to a Dalton Kincaid or Kyle Pitts, you probably are going to get similar production. You're getting three or four round discount. Same with the Ramondre Stevenson. I don't think Stevenson is too far away from a Joe Mixon or a James Cook, and you're getting him with a two round discount. You know, same with, you know, uh, some of these other guys down here. Like, I, I like the value you can get in these quarterbacks. Brock Purdy right here. Jaden Daniels, 10th, 11th round. I think it's very good value. There's also some decent running backs here. I like Brian Robinson, Gus Edwards, Devin Singletary, Trey Benson, Jalen Warren. You get him in the ninth, 10th round. So, again, you can stack receivers, and then you can go get the running backs later because – I don't necessarily love the running backs, the receivers in that area. You know, uh, Adonai Mitchell, Dobbs, Curtis Samuel, Cortland Sutton, Jamison Williams. I mean, it really, it, it's it's a struggle down here. So get your receivers early. You can wait a little bit on running back. And then tight ends and, and quarterbacks in this no tight end premium, no super flex. You know, you can get a little, a little uh, patient. I got Christian Watson, just took a home, you know, home run pick there in the ninth for my fourth receiver. I got Brian Robinson. I really like that value. Khalil Shakur, Kirk Cousins, Jahan Dotson. You don't actually have to go two quarterbacks. In a one quarterback format, I do tend to go with an extra running back or an extra receiver just to see what happens. But Kirk Cousins kept falling. I thought it was a pretty good value. Hunter Henry, a guy that could be one or two in targets. That, that, you know, it's a pretty ambiguous uh, pass catching unit for New England. And we don't know what that offense is going to look like with Alex Van Pelt and Drake May and Jacoby Brissett. Hunter Henry's been there for a while. Should be a mainstay. Should be a easy PPR guy for a rookie quarterback. Khalil Herbert, I'm just hoping he gets traded to the Cowboys or something like that. I like Jahan Dotson. I think he's a good value right now. And I think Darnell Mooney is one of those guys where you can get him in the last pick. He's going to have, you know, pretty interesting situation there with Kirk Cousins in that offense. Um, he could be the number two, if not number three, in targets in that offense with Kirk Cousins at quarterback. So Mooney, you know, he's, he was a good player a couple of years ago. He got hurt, and then he's just been stuck in that Chicago offense with Justin Fields. So let me know what you think. This is five minute fantasy football. As always, good luck this season.